Hi, my name is Victoria Schroeder and I'm the executive director at the Long Hope's Donkey Shelter. Donkeys have been used as livestock guards for thousands of years with some success and some challenges. In this video, we're going to talk about donkeys being used as livestock guards, but from the donkey's perspective. Recently, there's been a renewed interest in donkey guards as people open the hobby farms to either grow their own food or create an income stream or qualify for a reduced agricultural property tax assessment. Equines, horses, mules, and donkeys are all prey animals. Despite being a thousand pounds in size, a horse still gets killed by predators, which is why their primary response to fear is flight. Donkeys have the flight response too, but because they evolved differently than horses did, they can also just freeze in place or attack a predator, which is why they are preferred as livestock guards. Number one, many resources say that you should get a very young donkey to guard your livestock. And they say that because they think that the donkey's gonna grow up thinking that it's the same species as the species that that donkey's guarding. No, 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 no. Donkeys are herd animals, just like cows and horses and sheep and antelope. Their herd is other donkeys, not livestock. Have you ever seen a deer hanging out with moose? Have you ever seen a sheep hanging out with antelope? Have you ever seen other donkeys hanging out with mustangs if there are other donkeys around? The answer is no. Each species has their own social and sexual communication behaviors that are unique to their own species. So they normally want and they need a herd of their own species to be able to thrive. A donkey learns to be a donkey from its mother. So getting a foal, a weanling, or a yearling to be a livestock guard is a terrible idea. You want the donkey to be mature before putting it to work. Number two, a lot of people think that they should only get one single guard donkey because because that donkey will love the livestock and they'll protect it better. A lot of people get this information from neighbors that they have only one, or they've had a friend that only has one, or they have seen this information online somewhere that single donkeys are best as guards. This information is incorrect because donkeys don't love the livestock that they're protecting. They love their safety, security, and the territory that they're protecting. And so they will run off predators that are in their territory or predators that are being a threat to their safety. And a single donkey is gonna be guarding their territory 24 seven. Even donkeys need time off to rest, sleep, eat, and relax. A single donkey with no rest is an easy way of creating a stressed donkey. They need time off of work too. Number three, people think that if they get two donkeys, they will not guard the livestock. Well, that's wrong. A pair of donkeys, not only will they be able to continue their species and herd behavior, but they will also be able to work in teams. So they will give each other time to rest, time to sleep, and they will tag team it so that they actually work in pairs to either run off a predator or kill a predator. <laughs> Number four, donkey guards can run free and be around livestock 24 seven. Eh, not really. So when organizations raise livestock for human consumption, the goal is to get the livestock to gain a lot of weight. Sometimes that livestock has access to food 24 seven. In contrast, you would purchase a pair of donkeys that is healthy, agile, not overweight, and that they're fit and in good health to be able to run after predators and attack predators and protect your livestock. Donkeys have a unique metabolism that makes them very sensitive to high protein foods. They do best on a low protein diet, so they should not have access to alfalfa or eat grain, and they should not be fed what you feed your goats or your chickens. A donkey that is overfed can be obese very quickly and an obese donkey will not run after your predators and will not protect your livestock in fact an obese donkey can develop laminitis very quickly and laminitis can be fatal this wind number five like other livestock donkeys don't need a shelter so that they can stay away from all of the elements what do you guys think huh wrong again 
Sheep, llamas, and alpacas have thick winter coats. In fact, they are raised for their thick wool that keeps them warm in all temperatures. Cows have been bred for winter weather and they have multiple layers of fat that keeps them warm. Donkeys are desert animals that were never designed to stay outside in cold weather under the snow. And so because of that, they need good shelter. Shelter that would protect them from So because of that, they need good shelter that's going to keep them away from the wind, the rain, the snow, and cold temperatures. This would be difficult to accomplish if you want the donkey to stay with 500 head of cattle out in the pasture. Number six, <laughs> there is no cost to owning a donkey other than feed. What do you guys think? Wrong. Just like sheep and cattle and goats, the hooves of donkeys constantly grow. Normally, goats, sheep, and cattle usually get processed before the hooves become a problem. But because donkeys are not being raised for human consumption and they are expected to guard livestock year after year, they will need regular hoof care at least every three months. For this reason, if you have a donkey that's very difficult to handle, you will never be able to catch them to get their hooves done. Without regular handling, that donkey's gonna lose its skill to be able to stand still for a farrier. And you won't be able to give that donkey hoof care unless it's sedated by your vet. And getting a donkey that has good skills, is affectionate and good with people is also not the right solution to put as a guard because that donkey will have a difficult time without the constant human attention. Additionally, equine teeth continue to erupt throughout their lives until they're about 25 years old. The teeth can become so sharp that it causes excruciating pain and your donkey is not gonna be able to concentrate on anything other than the pain. For this reason, your donkey is also gonna need dental care from a licensed veterinarian once every two to three years. So windy. If you have a donkey that is overweight, that does not mean that they have healthy teeth. You should watch our other videos on our YouTube where you will learn that the weight of a donkey does not determine the health of their mouth. Donkeys also need deworming and vaccinations every year. Getting a pair of donkeys to guard your livestock does not mean that you should not spend any money on taking care of those donkeys. Their health is extremely important. Yes. <laughs> Last but not least, historically, donkeys get discarded when the livestock is sold, or they get discarded when the donkey is too unhealthy, too sick to continue guarding. That happens when they, did, when they do not receive the care that they need. Donkeys being used as livestock guards put them at the same risk of slaughter for their meat or their skin, just like the livestock that they are expected to guard. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on all of our donkey updates. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Have a brave old day. Why are you so cute? Um. <laughs> I got your boogers in my mouth.